Atenção, o vídeo a seguir é um compilado de cenas e gameplays de um game, convertidos para parecer um filme. Todas as cenas estão dubladas ou legendadas em português do Brasil, portanto, a sua compreensão está garantida. O vídeo está sendo feito a partir de vídeos postados originalmente no canal Vini Game Series, link na descrição. Se gostou da iniciativa, dê um like, comente, se inscreva no canal e confira o Z Games e o Vini Game Series. Vídeos relacionados a esse quadro estão ou estarão lá em breve também. Valeu galera, até a próxima e aproveite o vídeo. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. The mansion incident. That was the night I led the Star's Alpha Team into the Arklay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Bravo Team. At least, that was the fate. The reality was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha Team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. Soon, I would have the research data that I needed. <sighs> is everyone all right? What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. 
He's... No. What is this hall? What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Chris. You got it, Wesker. I'll go check it out. Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> I will stay and secure the area. A dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Who is it? You! Freeze! Get away from him, Jill! He's insane! What the hell? We better report this to Wesker. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Huh. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. This mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. 
Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. You're okay? I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Edward's dead. I see. It's not much better on my end, either. We got attacked by those things, and had to split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding, or... We just have to find Enrico. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First, we have to get to someplace safe. Made it to the mansion, but stay on your toes. I will, Billy. I hope you're okay. Damn, they're here too! Are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm alright. I must have had a bad dream. What? Uh, nothing. It's gonna be a long night. Something feels wrong. Richard. Hey, don't forget, we're elite members of STARS. If we remember our training and keep our cool, we'll be fine. Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Let's move. Yeah.
Tanya! Rebecca! Are you alright? It's probably just us now. Help will come. I'm sure our captain is out there somewhere. So don't give up hope. Besides, I'll back you up. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? that thing. Let's finish it off, Rebecca. I'm with you. Concentrate fire! up good. Some backup I made. Richard. Don't make that face at me. We've still gotta have hope. Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. how hopeless I felt, seeing Richard lying there, wounded. I had to be stronger. I had to fight. And I had to survive. No matter what happened, I'll prove I have what it takes to survive. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. You. 
Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Jill, don't scare me. Speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, uh, I think you should take a look at this. I warn you, though, it's not pretty. It's forest. What could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. Jill, this is no longer useful to Forrest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. I still can't believe it. Barry. I still can't believe it. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Ah! Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. 
Anyway, you should read this. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Forest! No. Forest? Sorry, Forrest. I'll miss our target practice sessions. Oh god, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! Grab my hand! <sighs> Barry! That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. We'd better get our priorities straight and get back to our investigation. You're right. Rebecca. I know, I know, but just a little bit longer. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Chris! Chris! I think I got it!
Practice makes perfect. Huh? What's this? Be careful, Chris. I'll be right back. Just hang in there. Poisonous snake and fell unconscious. E easy. Uh, uh, oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything that you wouldn't do. I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. Oh, thank God I made it in time. Oh, 
Cind Serum. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Richard, I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? Everything's okay now, Richard. <sighs> I'm okay. The others... The body respawn! Over! Barry? Monster! James! Stay away! Forest outside mansion! Stay! Hey! No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way.
Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard! Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Chris! Rebecca! It's no use! Roots are in the basement! You can... No! Take that file! It'll tell you how to make the potion to kill this thing! Use it on its roots! Hurry! Chris! Okay. Yeah. I think we got to the root of that problem. I owe you, kid. I'm glad I could help. Rebecca. Thanks. Chris, this is Richard's radio. A moment ago there was a transmission. Brad's still flying around, but I don't think he heard me. Okay, I'll keep the radio. We have to somehow let Brad know about us. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there if you need anything. Anyway, I'm glad you were all right. What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? 
This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. Things broken. <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should've... Watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Thanks. Be strong, Rebecca. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Chris to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad! Damn! Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Rebecca! Is she upstairs? Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Shit, it's broken. <laughs> Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck.
that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <clears throat> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <clears throat> Enrico! Traitor? Who? God, you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. That sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Barry! Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, well. Enrico! Double crosser. Jill, you're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! Thanks, Jill. believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Investigate this area a little further.
Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though. Bill! Chris, you're okay. Glad to see you are, too. Chris. I know. But first, let's get out of here. Anything on Wesker. We'll talk later. First, let's get going. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? Tonight was an excellent night for collecting data on Umbrella's biological weaponry and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. You set the team up? Excellent deduction, Jill. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? 
What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. That was Umbrella's intention anyway. However, I don't need them anymore. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Barry! Forgive me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Beautiful. Viral cultured freak. <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Come on, you test tube freak! No! How could they keep something like that here? I can't believe it. All of this was his doing. No time to worry about that now. We have to take this thing down. Let's double team. Okay. Wesker. A self-destruct device. We better get out of here now. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But the team... We have to save that for later. Let's get moving. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. 
I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! Come on, let's go! Come on, come on, hurry! This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. This is Brad. If there's anyone alive, contact me now. Brad! I'm at the heliport, but I'm running out of fuel. This is your last chance. Is anyone out there? The heliport! This way! Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But... Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. this far to die now. It was near daybreak on July 25th when the incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, I felt the pain of coming death. 
However, this too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. I found the tyrant that killed me was dead, and the facility was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF-013. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. Who are you? I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective you will regret is the protection this, my lady. of Umbrella that, officer I lies. promise. Time to change the plan. I better secure my escape. Then I will deal with them. Sergei, I won't forget your kindness. It's time to take the virus for a test drive. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tired? Chris. I'm sorry for... Rebecca, you did just fine. This case was just too strange. It was just too... I thought we disposed of you. Nobody's perfect. Not even you, Lisa. Your wife? Yeah, my wife and kids. They always wait up for me. <laughs> Even today, my eldest daughter. I didn't mean to. It's okay. He's alive. I just know.
The exit should be close. The hourglass is running low. Time to pick up the pace. She appears to be stalking me. Your desire for eternal slumber shall be granted. Good girl, and stay dead this time. And so I was reborn like a phoenix emerging from the flame. I no longer needed umbrella. A new horizon stretched out before me. I had risen beyond the human race and cheated death itself, leaving nothing to oppose me.